Hey guys, this is Hot Noob. Um, this is post number 12. I'm just going to be going through uh, basic access modifiers here. So, like always, start a new project, right? Just to get to lens. Um, this is it? post 12, right? So um, we're going to first uh, start by creating a uh, custom object, so let's call it my object. So class my object, right? Um, so I'm going to start off by declaring, uh, you know, the constructor of it. Right now we have nothing to construct, so we're just going to leave that plane. Now, um, Notice the public. The public means that it can be accessed from outside. So I'll show you a great example of this. So um, public um, string test, right? So we go my objects object equals or sorry, yeah, object equals me, yeah, object. So OBJ is just short for object, right? use um, shorts so you don't interfere with uh, commands and stuff like string right use str so as you can see there it is test but if i were to make this string private there it's it's not accessible right that's the whole point of it um by making it public it does make it quite a bit easier to hack into because then external programs can call it right um, it's not only public for your program, but it's public for other programs to access it to. That's just the thing to keep in mind. That's why you want to keep it by default private. So, um, I'm just going to call this um, private void you can't touch me. Right? Because you can't really touch this string externally, or this um, function externally. I'm just going to say function dot right line. <coughs> you can't touch me. Yeah. Right, and um, then we're going to say uh, public void. Um, you can touch me, right? Because you can actually, you can call this function or method. Function or method, right? Either or, because they're both correct, right? For terms. Um, you can touch me. <laughs> right, so, uh, so now you can see you can touch me, right? But you don't see you can't touch me. But um, you know, like I said, because uh, it's private, it can only be called ex internally. So let's say you want to say you can't touch me, right? So when uh, the constructor is called, when I call the function, the private function, you can't touch me, right? Um. As you can see in this example, I, I just wanted to make it um, make sense here what with the output. So uh, I'm just going to add that function in anyway. Um, public void. Oh, but. Yes, I can. make the congress the outputs of the this that we're gonna make to um you know look sort of like a conversation. Ooh, but yes, um. So right, so um again where when the constructor is called it creates the object, right? And then it also um and when it creates the object, it's creating all of these functions that are not static. 
just to let you know. Um, and in the in the next post, I'll explain the difference between static and non-static. Because as you can see, these have no static. They don't have the word static, whereas this one does. You can probably ex um, guess by what it means, right? But I'll explain it in the next post. So object dot. Um, oh, but yes, I can. And then object dot. Touch me. Right. And then I'm just gonna say. And um, just a quick thing to learn, slash n means new line, or you can do environment.new line. Now environment.new line gives the value of slash r slash n. There's a difference between it, just uh, to let you know. Slash n is line rate, and slash r slash n is slightly different. I don't exactly remember what the slash r does. But it's just an annoying thing that you have to remember. So, uh, and then console.newline. So you can see the output. Right? So you can't touch me. Oh, but yes, I can. Right? Actually, you should probably get your girlfriend or something to this line and you say that and she says this and then that say oh what a bunch of pearls they are and that's pretty much it um there's about four access modifiers um yeah uh you pretty much will only ever use pi public private and pretty much it um by default though i believe it is private right if you don't define it, but be sure to define it because it's a good habit to keep. Right? And if you don't define it, it makes your code look pretty messy, right? Because you see public and then it's like void, or public void and then it'd be like void, right? And uh, just um, for references, the, the other ones are extern for external and um, internal, I believe. I don't personally use them often though, so I'm not that familiar with them. However, um, the resources, I know they have an access modifier of internal. And um, that's pretty much it for access modifiers. Pretty short post, but very important. And remember, just because you're lazy doesn't mean that you should make all of them public, right? So just make sure you make a habit of making them private by default. And if you really need to make them public, make them public. But avoid it at all costs. And um, yeah. There's uh, all sorts of security things that you can do. Let's say you want to, like, for a field, um, private string, string, right, whatever. Let's say you only want the outside to need only, let's say, right? Let's say you only want the external or well, the outside to, um, be able to access it. So um, public string, and this here is um, what they call a field or a variable or whatever. This here though is called a property. Um, string. Sorry, I'm just going to underscore that. And then we say get, right? and you can return value of string, right? Or if you really want to, you can do post. Or, I mean, um, set. 
sorry, not post, I'm thinking like PHP here again. And you set, right, and you can say, um, string equals value. And this way you have total control of what can happen, right? So you just get rid of that, and then it's get only, right? Dot string, and then, um, C. Equals see it won't let you do that because um, it's read only and I think I explain this later on in another post anyway that's it for post 12 this is just the basics of access modifiers if you want to read more just um, google c sharp access modifiers